There's a huge fire at one of the mountains. Right now, these conditions are a lot worse here due to a fire happening around this area here. It looks like all the spectators are just uh, here to see this fire show happening. And there's like some news helicopters between one to two to three. It will be a short vlog, but just gonna mix in with a uh, story vlog for now. So what's been going around here is that the fire conditions are going a lot worse across these mountains, especially in parts of the areas. In fact, there were excessive heat warnings uh, last week, which caused some of the f most serious fires, including the line fire, the airport fire, and then the bridge fire. Coincidentally, this also occurs with worsening air quality conditions. All things to the fire, of course. So this mountain right there is actually at Mount Baldy, which is basically part of the extension of the bridge fire, which the conditions are a lot worse. Some of the fire patterns may vary depending on some of the conditions it's going. This is what the report looks like when I'm using a Google Maps about the bridge fire, which has spread a lot of smoke across northeast. Depending on if I'm able to zoom in further or backwards, uh, yeah, the fire pattern does vary on those mountains here. Just not sure if I'm able to explain. So if I were to use my phone to view this bridge fire, which is part of the extension, it's on top of Mount Bobby. So this is what the bridge fire looks like. You know my camera is not gonna adjust to those lighting conditions. Unfortunately, my camera cannot capture the smoke because of its dark environment. Even though if I try to zoom out, it will capture some of the light and dark environments. This is the only closest uh, zoom for the bridge fire. And yes, uh, lots of uh, bright orange uh, across those mountains. And the situation gets even worse uh, if they don't pull out the fires quickly enough. Also, this is what the photo looks like when I use my iPhone 14 Pro to capture this fire on top of the mountains. There's another some few spectators that are just uh, watching the fire going on. But for now, this is just an update situation of what's going on with the bridge fire. But we're not in a very much in a hot environment anymore as of now. Although this is still a critical event and there can be some uncertainties with the fire, of course. For those of you that wonder, how did I find this fire on the mountains? First of all, I use uh, some type of a neighbor's app, which I'm not going to show due to privacy reasons. Check their sightseeing locations to determine that they live somewhere that close to me. And then when I go outside to check the environment, to say it is actually bright red across the mountains and it's very visible to anyone for everyone to see. So I had to find a sightseeing area just not too close to the fires but only to a very visible spot to where I can see the fires and take a picture of it for awareness. Right now there's still some helicopters uh, flying above the fires here to observe and post it on news which you can find in, in any of the news channels about those fires. They're trying to work hard to quench the fires as soon as possible before it gets even worse either potentially blowing into the direction to where we're at. Remember, the wind patterns can be uncertain so it's best to exercise high degree of caution no matter what fire location is at. For instance if it blows towards our direction then it's going to be a lot worse and suffer from air quality issues. That's why as of now, this is pretty much a high degree of caution. If the smoke comes into our skies, it will be an unhealthy environment. As of now, the region is under alert due to these fire situations going around with the bridge fire on top of the mountains. Changes are they may limit outdoor activities to avoid inhaling air quality and order bad situations. But for now, this is all I have for the update about the bridge fire here. There's nothing else to talk as much. If you do enjoy my vlogging content, please consider following me on other social media platforms in my about page. And that's basically all I had to say here. This is Vlogger LTF signing out. Okay, so one more clip. So I was asking some of the spectators about the fire and one of them says that they're using some type of like an app called Watch Duty. Basically, it just informs you the current conditions of a fire depending on time and yes this is real life time of the fire conditions so yeah thank the spectator for showing me this app here possibly i'll have to watch over it in the future so i'll have to exercise increased caution about the fires here maybe one day i'll give an update after the fire is over